Hey guys, I'm Adrienne and welcome to my channel. On today's video, we'll explore how the Brother HE 240 works. Let's see how to set up your machine. You'll need to load the bobbin. So find the thread you need. In this case, we'll use this color. First thing you need to do, have a bobbin, place it on the bobbin treader, and then you do the flow for the thread as shown on your machine. You will have a little diagram that shows you to hook it in this place and then place it under this little arm. Then do round around this. Place the thread around the bobbin to make sure it's secure. In some cases, you need to place the thread inside a little hole on the bobbin. I'll just do it this way. Cut the thread and then you push the bobbin winder to the right and then you just press on the pedal to see the thread go around the bobbin. The machine will never over thread the bobbin, it will stop itself. But if you know you just need a little for a project, well, you might just as well cut it when you, you're done. Push the bobbin to the left, remove the bobbin, and if you see like some additional thread that you need to cut, you go ahead and do it. And then you're ready to place the bobbin inside the machine. You have a plate that's over the bobbin, you just pop it up. And then you make sure that you hold the bobbin in a T shape and then follow the diagram that's onto your machine. For me, I just place the bobbin here. I put the thread in this little tunnel and then place the plate holder on top, cut the thread. That's one thing done. And then you place the spool. So it's usually on top and you have either an horizontal or vertical spool holder. It's typically a first hook and then an arm, then you go down. Then you hook it to this arm and then you lower. There's another hook that you need to attach the thread to. And then you're ready to insert the thread in the eye of the needle. Or if you have an automatic needle treader like me, you just go on with the diagram, press this lever and there you go. The only thing left to do is to place the thread inside the foot and you're ready to sew. How do I get this machine going? First off, you'll have to place the power cord and then you'll have to place the cord for the pedal and here's the power button. Here is a handle that you could always use to manually move up and down the needle in case you're stuck or if you want to start at a very precise point, it's super useful. Let's just do a quick tour of the feature of this machine. You have the button to move up and down the needle and make sure that the needle is centered. Next, you have the scissors that represent the thread cutter automatic so at the end of your point you can just do this instead of having the thread like pull out and cut it with the little cutter on the extremity on your left you have foot lever that just makes the foot go down and press onto your fabric onto the machine here you have the speed controller because you could unhook your machine and then just use the, the speed here to control your needle and then you would just press this, this button and it will activate the needle and it will just go up and down just like when you're using the pedal. You have this little sign that's backward here that means you do a backup stitch. If you have to activate the backup stitch button, as soon as you'll press this, it will do a backup stitch. It won't do like just backup stitch forever. It will do like an end stitch to secure your seam. So here you have the menu that you can control the width and the length of your stitch. In case you want to do a looser stitch because you know you will just undo it afterwards, if it's just to have two pieces together for a temporary time, then you use a stitch that has a longer distance between both stitch and maybe a wider if it's a zigzag stitch. Here you have the button to control the tension. It's not something that you typically like work a lot with. So this is it for the basic functions of the HE240. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next sewing video.